Datalyzer FMEA complies with the AIAG standard. The layout and relationship of cells in an FMEA document is confusing at first sight, but there is a clear logic to it. Anyone working with Datalyzer FMEA must understand the cell relationships. When working with an FMEA document, the first thing to keep in mind is that the column positions have been set to make data entry flow from left to right. You first enter a process step. This step can have any number of requirements. Each requirement can have any number of failure modes. So far, so simple. Each failure mode can have any number of effects. A failure mode can also have any number of causes, but the causes are not directly related to the effects. Causes can have any number of actions. Now let's see how this looks in the FMEA document. In Datalyzer FMEA, you can see the relationship of cells by holding down the mouse button over a cell. A cell is highlighted with blue borders. Cells higher in the hierarchy from the blue cell are shown with red borders, and cells on the same level are shown with green borders. So far, we have given an explanation of the one-to-many relationships in an FMEA document. But there are also one-to-one -one relationships. For example, a failure mode cell always has one severity value and one class. You might think that severity is a feature of an effect, and that's logical, but effects do not lead on to causes and actions. It is failure modes that do that. So the user records the value of the most serious severity of all the effects. When a failure mode cell is created, the severity and class cells are also created, but they stay hidden until there is at least one effect cell. This is because it doesn't make sense to determine the severity of a failure mode without knowing its effects. This also explains why severity is placed on the right of effects. Causes have the current process, occurrence, detection, and RPN values on a one-to-one -one basis. That seems fairly obvious. But what is not so obvious is the action results versions of occurrence, detection, and RPN are also related to the cause. This seems odd at first sight because they are placed to the right of the action cells, but it is the occurrence and detection values of the cause that are modified by the actions in an attempt to reduce the cause's RPN. These cells are kept hidden until at least one action is created for the cause because it does not make sense to enter modified values until the actions are complete. Action results severity is a bit of an oddball. Logically, severity is a feature of the most serious effect of a failure mode. But it sometimes happens that actions lead to removing the most serious effect, causing the severity value to drop to the next most serious effect. The action results severity column is provided to allow the user to change this value for calculating the action results RPN.